Möbelgalerie. Möbelgalerie is a furniture gallery that was established in 1986 and remains one of Norway's most exciting home furnishing stores. They themselves say on their website that they have a clear Scandinavian profile and offer furniture and lighting from leading manufacturers, designed by internationally renowned architects and designers, like this Nagoshi coffee table in glass and walnut from Vitra. Designed by Isamu Nagoshi, a renowned Japanese-American artist and landscape architect, furniture, lighting, interiors, stage design, as well as outdoor plazas and gardens. Many of his designs for lamps and furniture pieces are very much still produced and sold to this day, like at Möbelgalerie and Illums Bolighus. If you want to have your very own Nagoshi coffee table, it will set you back a cool 2300 to 3200 euros, depending on the type of wood you choose. Side note, because I love being messy, Nagoshi was also a lover of Mexican artist Frida Kahlo for a time in the 1930s. And yes, she was still married at the time. We are all about that cultural capital life, so we just had to go check out the new exhibition at the BGE Contemporary. From their website, we know they opened their doors in 2017 in a newly built 600 square meter space designed by architect Hans Olaf Hansen from Ramp Architects. My own personal opinion agrees. They are indeed a unique and welcome addition to the art scene in Stavanger with a strong team behind the idea. Entrepreneur and property developer Eli Ertvog and Gallery Brandslup owners Kim Brandslup and Marit Gillespie. Continuing on the website, it says they work with high-profile artists renowned internationally and in Scandinavia, which you can also kind of tell by their stable, as well as young and up-and-coming artists. The gallery shows monthly exhibitions in addition to having a print lab solely dedicated to exclusive prints, a small outdoor sculpture park, and a bookshop. The print lab is very clever if you think about it, because most millennials now pushing 30 or already in their 30s are more likely to be in the price range of a print than an original painting. But beware, oh ye millennials, they don't call prints the bait for nothing. Anyhow, we were here for the Crystal Glain exhibition called The Weight of Nothing. I was skeptical. Luckily, this all dissipated once we entered the building with the friendliest gallerist greeting us and the first room of one painted paper and oil painting and six one-of-a-kind frame prints. Arborg Lane is legit. Really, most pictures don't really do his work justice. The way the eyes wander aimlessly over the canvas, catch the symbolic hammers and snails, he previously explained are images of a desire to manipulate time. The snail moves slowly forward. By smashing the snail with the hammer, the figure wants to speed up the situation he is in and move towards what will hopefully come soon, another time. Ladies and gentlemen, it was giving me life. So Christa Glein, the artist himself, is Norwegian from Trondheim, but he lives and works in Oslo. After including his photo, I feel compelled to also mention that he is spoken for, alas, not single. Glein had his breakthrough at 24 years of age at Galerie Trafo in 2009 when he debuted and sold out the entire exhibition. And this year he was named as an artist worth investing in by Capital, Norway's leading business magazine. Christa Glein is the moment, and I'm all about it. Of the exhibition, The Weight of Nothing, he said in an interview that it should reflect the time we are in now. All the pictures are large self-portraits of figures who barely managed to stay up. The gallery explains it as possibilities of the abstract painting, where Glein separates between two different techniques. The first one, recognized by the loose and rough brushstrokes of expressionism, and the other, the abstraction of suprematism, characterized by basic geometric forms and a limited range of colors. A child of the 80s, Glein has previously explained his choice of colors often being described as an interplay of pastels and earth tones. The earth tones as nature and the pastels as a clear representation of the manufactured or man-made. Or as he puts it, in the meeting between nature and culture, there is a tension between harmony and disharmony. I think this is exciting to explore. Overall, a successful exhibition for both artist and gallery. Also very noticeable by the many red dots discreetly placed to the lower right of almost all the paintings. The red dot is what dreams are made of. 
a resounding bravo from the collectors and viewers alike. The prices range from 2300 to 11,000 euros. Now I know that many people find it an ugly practice to speak on the price when it comes to art. I think that's a bit like people not wanting to know where and how the sausage is made. It's just part of it. And of course, for us poor millennials, there is always the print option that starts at a budget-friendly 380. Thank you for watching and catch you in the next one.